So as far as the gorillas that live here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, there are five individuals. We have our the silverback, Goma, and he is 32 years old. He is the biggest of the gorillas, which is pretty typical. Males tend to be twice the size of female gorillas. And then there are four female gorillas that live at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. We have two younger females named Asha and Quisha, who are both 30 years old. And then we have two even older females named Roxy and Juju that are in their 40s. So gorillas have unique individual personalities that set them apart from one another. Asha, our female gorilla, is very socially fluid. Juju, one of our older female gorillas, she really likes to carry around different things that they use in their environment like hay or blankets for bedding. She likes to carry those things around with her. Quisha, one of our younger females, is our red-headed gorilla. So she has red on the top of her head, which makes her easy to tell apart. Roxy is our oldest female gorilla in the troop, and she is 47 years old. She is actually the zoo's longest resident. She's lived here longer than any other animal. She is the kind of the fun ant gorilla. We, Whenever there are kiddos in the group or with any of the other members of the troop, she really loves to help be close to them and just wants everyone to be friends with one another. And then we have Goma. Goma is the silverback of the gorilla troop, and so that means that he's the leader. It's his responsibility to keep the social dynamics and the hierarchy all fluid and make sure that everyone's getting along, which is a role that he's really started to come into. So gorilla conservation is really critically important just because almost all species and subspecies of gorillas are critically endangered in the wild. And anything that we can do in our capacity to help and protect those populations is going to be really important. Gorillas are great seed dispersers. They also are important in how they shape the forest and resources that we extract from that forest. So making sure that we are doing our part to protect them is absolutely critical. Oftentimes, forests that have good gorilla populations are healthy forests that indicate a rich variety of plant and species life there. And so when gorillas are present in a forest, that's a way that we can tell that that forest is in good condition and it's going to be a healthy place that produces lots of resources, not only for gorillas, but for other species as well. One of the best things that we can do to help with gorilla conservation is actually to make sure that we are being good stewards with how we use our resources, namely our cell phones. So cell phones contain a mineral that is actually heavily mined in gorilla habitat where they live in the central part of Africa. That mineral is called coltan. It's heavily used in electronic devices and batteries such as our cell phones, different Bluetooth devices, all those things have coltan. And if we make sure that we are recycling our devices to make sure that the coltan goes back into the system, it helps gorillas out a whole lot and it helps protect the resources and the habitats that they occupy. Awesome, so thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with the gorillas at Primate World and happy World Gorilla Day.